Yeah, shit, that's the that's the girl from next door. Let me roll on over there. Matt, boy, Matt got his ass good. Oh shit! You know that girl? Yeah, you know that cute little yeah. thing from next door. That, I knew she was vibing. Yeah, I'm coming, baby. <laughs> yeah, don't they stay there? Oh shit! Oh, that's, that's all right. I got a break. <laughs> You're like, oh shit, she back there. Oh, Wait, she back there. <laughs> Double Toasted Live in Las Vegas is coming up very soon and tickets are selling fast. So get your tickets now by going to x1entertainment.com slash double dash toasted and join us for a night of comedy, music, games, and our after party. And we'll see you there soon. So I don't need to tell anybody about this. I don't know, maybe some of you youngsters out there, you don't really understand what a phenomena E.T. was back in the day. There he is, yeah. uh, when he was known as M.C. E.T. <laughs> 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 had to have him grab a mic. Yeah, M.C. E.T. <laughs> well, it was huge, man. It was the biggest movie of all time at the time. And you know what happens when you get the biggest movie of all time at that time? Everybody want a piece. So <laughs> everybody came. Everybody came. B.E.T. But that didn't stop him from trying. And a lot of them were shitty. Just like with Star Wars when it came out. You had all the Star Wars ripoffs. You know, you got lucky if you got one. Sure, that was okay. even, that right. was even right. okay. That was, that was okay, decent, yeah. Right. Yeah, just, oh, just decent. But this is where I got to come in, man, and give this movie credit. <laughs> because we're talking about this movie. And what took y'all so long? You know that we vote on these films right here. For real? Yeah, you know that we vote yeah. on these films right here, man. I was shocked. Yeah, in fact, I forgot to put the poll up. I'll go back and do that in a little bit. But you know that we vote on these films right here. And it's, I've been begging y'all and begging y'all, please let's get Mac and Me in there. Because the reason why, while Mac and Me is indeed a ripoff of, in, of, of E.T., it should be ridiculed for such. It does have the distinction of being probably the best ripoff of E.T. <laughs> oh, because Lord. it is the shittiest ripoff of E.T. <laughs> it's the most spectacular. Somehow, one of the aliens was hiding in our house. <laughs> yeah, sorry the audio is so low on that. Not my fault. Uh, I could not find a copy of that trailer where the audio was not so low. But you get the picture. Hey, the, the, just the images alone speak for themselves. And yeah, people, this is Mac in Me. Came out in 1988 and was trying to get a slice of that E.T. pie. <laughs> and the thing with this is that what makes this so spectacular is that a lot of people go out and they'll do a ripoff because, yeah, they don't have the talent, but they don't also have the money to do it. Mac and Me had that, had, had that clown money behind it, had yeah. that Ronald, them Ronald Bucks, man. Man, this was, this, so, it is said that, and it's been denied by the producer, but it is, it is said that McDonald's did indeed come in and help fund this. But if, whether that's true or not, the Wait, per the, there's a question of that? Yes, they said that, you know, McDonald's came in and they helped out with a little bit of it in order to have some money go back to the Ronald McDonald house. Right. So they were okay. doing it as a charitable cause. Right, But right. people are like, bitch, stop lying. You are all over this movie. This is one big commercial for that and a few other things. But McDonald's did have a big involvement in this, and it has to be, and it, they had to put a significant amount of money here because this is, this is not only considered to be a bad E.T. ripoff, it is considered to be one of the longest commercials for several products of all time. I mean, infomercials ain't got nothing on this, man. And the way that this started was, it was a, it was a, a producer. I got his name right here, R.J. Lewis. He worked in advertising. Mm -hmm. He was a big marketing guy, and he brought his marketing savvy over to this movie right here. Because what happened was he was able to bring McDonald's into the movie game, and part of this was supposed to go over to the Ronald McDonald House. McDonald's had a bunch of affiliates. They said, hey, man, can we, can we get in on this too? <laughs> Bring us in, man. Vouch for us. And so you get a lot of product placement in this movie right here, which is one of the most infamous things about this film. Uh, it's not just the product placement. You see how it is the product placement that has made it so infamous for what it is. Uh, and it's funny because the movie, it, you know, they're talking about how much they were going to give to Ronald McDonald House. Oh, we're going to help all these sick kids out there. This thing, 
I mean, there are bombs and then there are nuclear explosions. This shit bombed so hard. And it made, it made I think, about, it made $600,000 at, at, the, at, the, at the theater. And they had to give some of that shit over to that hospital. They had to give it to the Ronald McDonald house. So those people, we even those cut. kids were like, what the f- this man <laughs> yeah I, I i read that the budget was uh, 13 million yeah which is more than et's i was gonna wait to answer this throughout the show but damn boy this this is this is amazing this is in, this is one of the most incredible bad movie roles i've ever seen maybe just the, because of the balls on this film yeah. for what they do maybe just these the, the kids don't know about it no yeah. well they gonna know now so I'm going to tell you something about the movie, man. The movie actually, just for a brief moment, I, for something that's going to be compared to E.T. You know, I was able to see where I was like, okay, man, y'all got ambitions past E.T. I see what you're doing. A lot of people just kind of copy and paste E.T., but y'all trying to go above and beyond. Because when, when E.T. came out, they said, yeah, E.T. came down here, but you never saw his house. You know, talking about phone at home. You never went back. You never went to his planet. You know how they were hanging up there. This movie right here, Mac and Me, it opens up showing you what it's like on Mac's planet. Now, ain't shit going on up there. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a bunch of yeah, dirt. Yeah. But hey, at least they gave us a, a glimpse of what it's like for him up on his home world. And it don't look good. <laughs> no, it ain't. Boy, it's, that, that plant is so dry. They got That plant is so dry, they got to stick straws in the ground just to get a drink. <laughs> Hello? What in there? Hello? <laughs> there she is. Oh, yeah. And, and I, I like that because it shows them at least living like indigenous people, you know, yeah. trying to. Literally, li- literally living off the earth. Sure. Yeah. Sticking <laughs> you know, straws living. in the ground and drink water. Yeah, yeah. Stick, ah. sticking, sticking crazy straws in the yeah. ground. <laughs> Except not water, but Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't no, it ain't no Coca Cola. Cause you know, seeing them this way, I'm thinking it, it's not so bad. You know the way the, the because the, when you look at it, they knew what they were doing. You know, they do things from a far shot, or they light things in a way where. You know, it's it's lit and kind of it's lit kind of dim or very much in the shadows. You see them in the environment that that, that they're in. And what what I can say about this is that while people talked about the design early on watching this, I can say that at least it looks alien. It does it that they're not so weird looking. You know, I mean, they look alien. That's the way it's supposed to be. But then that satellite lands, and then Max Daddy stands up. The Mac and, Daddy. The Mac Daddy. The Mac Daddy. And he is. Up. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, oh, he, is, he is. He is. Up. What y'all doing? I don't know what kind of booze was in that dirt. <laughs> Martin said. Martin said in that in that in the ground they had Coca Cola. No, they had Jack and Coke in that yeah, ground. You're right, right. You're right. He was. <laughs> up. You see this? He's he, 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 like he goes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like you know, it, it might turn out when they're born, they look like just normal humans. <laughs> but they drink their own shit, yeah. <laughs> Wait, like, he had that look of, what do you mean yeah. I'm cut off? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm done when I say I'm done. Give me my fucking keys. <laughs> All right, I ain't never come back to this place again. Yeah. As much money that I done spent yeah. in this joint. Yeah. <laughs> what, the, that bitch what the hell you looking at? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you when you look like now that they got him in the light and you get them all, you know, you get to see them in their full figure. It's, it's like that. It's like the they, they look like a nutsack with eyes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, you say they spend money, but it's so cheap looking. I oh, it's hey, you. Yeah. The lo- more it goes on, the cheaper it looks. Oh, the worse it looks. But and those those bloated bellies and those bloated cheeks. They they like 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 the the Ethiopians from those old uh, uh, tele those commercials. Yeah. That, that looked like. Those look like two nuts hanging down from the side of right, his mouth right, right there. Right. Uh, and then they got that they got that mouth that stays in that shape. It looks like a damn glory hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a sex puppet or something. It looks good. It made me think of like when you know, those years when Jerry Lewis he had the uh, pulmonary fibrosis and he took yeah, he steroids, took steroids and, just, and, and just, just blew up his face. Got that moon face. Yeah. That's what they call it. It's funny because we just showed you how they were throwing rocks. The satellite says, uh, "Oh, you want to throw rocks? All right, <laughs> hey, hey, come, come here. Let me tell you something. No, closer, come closer. Come here, come here, come here. I want to tell you something." <laughs> yeah, 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 uh-huh. 
You want to throw rocks, yeah, bitch? I got, I got some for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come here. Let's <laughs> no, taste them real quick. Yeah, 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 come here, come here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, shit, you thought you got them dick sucking lips. Yeah, I'll show yeah, you yeah, some. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. They get the, the, the satellite, of course takes them to Earth. I mean, it's almost like they grabbed and went back home and said, look what I got. Right. <laughs> takes them back to this to this lab. And it don't take five minutes for these dumbass so-called scientists to set their asses free. Larry, back off. Nice. Back off, Larry. Get away from it. Reverse the ad sample. Back off. Back off. <laughs> and that's the thing the effects just keep getting worse oh, they do right. they do yeah, like you go where'd the money go wherever it was it was in the beginning right yeah, yeah, yeah. you mean to tell me you have McDonald's and Coca-Cola money and that shit is, you, this is the best this is the best you got <laughs> <laughs> like a puppet. Yeah, That's what it is. Oh, oh, yeah, it's like a hand it ain't a yeah. hand. It's a stick. Yeah. Oh my god. They got a stick up Max ass right now and just shaking it across the screen. That's a stick, yeah. Yes. I, I kept looking at this and thinking, damn, picks the your people right here. <laughs> <laughs> With the big eyes yeah, going two different directions. Two different directions. <laughs> you know, she's like that now. She's like, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, look at you, fix it. It's your people right there. <laughs> and the and the, and the budget for this this lab must be tight, cause they got no money for security. These, these aliens, they they get up and just walk right the out. Like 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 their whole, their whole movie they do. This. Ain't nothing locked on the doors. Ain't no security in there. Look, I know that they weren't prepared for the satellite to come back with aliens, but goddamn, it is a top secret mission. I know y'all got <laughs> one security guard around there. Goddamn, Paul Blart is around there. Something. <laughs> no, nah, these these bitches just get up. <laughs> And they say, they, and they say, down. see ya, and they just walk the hell out. You leave them like, hey, where y'all going? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you just gonna leave? That's, that's yes. so rude. Stay back. Stay away from them. God, oh my God. <laughs> Is it their powers? I mean, these guys kind of got made up powers yeah, in this. Okay, yeah, right. but they do a lot of exploding with their powers. They should do. <laughs> They should do. <laughs> I mean, like they, they keep wanting to say, like, oh, they're just benign aliens. They don't know what they're doing. But they blow a lot of shit up. They should up. do. No, they blow a lot of shit up. And here's the here's the real messed up thing. Dad, Max dad, dad ain't shit. Dad, he was like you say, he grabbed he grabbed the head and brought him there. And meanwhile, while they running, they leave <laughs> he tells the family, don't they leave, <laughs> they, they leave little the, the, when the police and the authorities finally do show up they leave little Mac to take the heat I love I little love it's, a, it's obviously a little chubby kid running yeah. with some pajama pants on yeah <laughs> and, and Mac boy Mac just Mac just has me laugh because those, those they, again, like the mouth, like they can't articulate yep. the hands either. So he ran like nope. he got arthritis or something. Stay <laughs> back. <Yeah. laughs> oh my god. Yeah, man. Uh, boy, this is this this thing is a this is amazing. This thing is a tr- is, it's a treasure trove. Jesus Christ, it's worse than I thought it was gonna be. I will give the effects people this though. Oh, oh, I, will, I, will, I will I will give them this. That that without that was that's that's a given. <laughs> that don't need to be said. But I will give them this. <laughs> As cheap as it is, they do find different ways to make Mac look throughout uh, th- this movie during cer- certain situations, but it still don't make any sense where this movie goes. Because they go from trying to be the next E.T. to trying to be the next Roger Rabbit. There's a point where, it, where, where, where Mac goes from being an alien to being straight up a toon. I mean, stuff. and they, when I say a tune, I ain't laughing. I'm, I'm not talking no. about just tune. I'm talking about Looney Tune. Mm-hmm. There's a point where he's splatting on things like Wile E. Coyote. With the plastic googly eyes. Yeah, yeah. The, the googly eyes. That's that Garfield thing you used to put on the, on the window, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. This is where we meet the family in the movie. This is... This is uh, this is where we meet the family that's gonna be eventually terrorized by Mac over here. Uh, you got uh, Mac eventually hitches a ride. They don't know that he's in the car. I don't know how because he's in the back seat. <laughs> but they don't see him for some reason. But uh, we got uh, 
Eric, who is pretty much, if you want to do some ET comparisons, he's the Elliot. You got uh, Big Bro over here, uh, Michael, and then you got Mom, Janet. And as I said, they are the family that you'll be seeing uh, doing their ET ripoff thing in this movie right here. I think it was a drunk? It's probably an ADUI. What? An alien driving under the influence. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. That's not even bad enough to go, ah. No, no, it ain't. Get your hands right. off me. Now, you might, there's another character in here that's it's kind of small. You might not see him over here. Do you, do you see the other character, Billy, that's in here? Do you see the other character? Do you see? You see? You don't see it? I guess not. No, Mr. Coca-Cola, he's a, oh, he's a, he's a, he is a character yeah, in this movie okay, right here. Say. In fact, I would say he's one of the major stars in the movie. <laughs> You're going to see a lot of Mr. Cola up in here. Yeah, in you, this film? You, yeah, you can't call it a cameo. No, <laughs> no, yeah, it, no, it ain't. Man, you can't call it product placement. He's a star, <laughs> Mr. Cola, <laughs> up in here. So the family is relocating to California, They're to the to the suburbs of Cali, actually, to be more specific, uh, where mom is starting her new job, uh, which she might not have long because we get a little glimpse of her. You know, straight up, mom's like, mom's a Karen. Like she, when they get there, the first thing she does is pick on the first black guy that she sees. Hey, that's my stuff you're throwing around there. Relax, lady. It's just our furniture pads. Right? No, you know, I know, right? right. right. At least she didn't call the police. Right, so we, right. See, we know this. You're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. No, so this is Karen Light. You know, this is Karen Phase One or something. <laughs> At least she, you know, could it could have been worse, but Karen nonetheless. Okay, you can't tell me she didn't say something on her birthday the day. Yeah. She. Now I got I got to ask you a question. I got to ask you <laughs> if she had seen a white dude handling that, would she have been the same way? <laughs> She'd be like, hey, what is that? Yeah. A furniture pad? Oh, is that a furniture pad? Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to mean to bother you. No, she saw she saw his black ass hand and something. Like, hey, wait a hey, minute. Hey, you still, hey, hey you still not stuff? <laughs> the neighbors are weird. Neighbors might as well be aliens themselves. Hey, how's it going? She just sitting out in the middle of the street. Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll appropriate. Uh, yeah, just appropriate. <laughs> just appropriate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just practicing my appropriation. Yeah. Now, please go into your home. In the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got damn crows and stuff. Yeah. Her she got a menagerie. They got rabbits and shit. Yeah, she's sitting in the middle of the road, letting everybody know I took all that Native American shit. Let them say something. Yeah, let them say something because they ain't around. Yeah, you got. You, we see this. We see this family having a new start, moving in. Life looked like it's good for them. Meanwhile, Max family. When they ran out that damn lap, they really didn't think it through. <laughs> no, <laughs> they <didn't. laughs> They're like, wait, well, shit, yeah, where we gonna go now? They out, so while this family is doing well, starting a new beautiful life, Max family out in the desert dying. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Fall out. They had to fall out. That was horrifying. Come on, baby, we can make it. Don't doubt me now. <laughs> right, right. It's a, it looks like a scene from The, the Man Who Fell to Earth. Yeah, they, but the thing is, well, like their planet plan. wasn't that it much like different. That was all plan. desert too. Yeah, I guess it had that that those underground yeah. streams. Well, no, they already Jack tried to get water. What none of that shit? Yeah. that sand up. Yeah, when uh the production on this movie started, they had uh they had a director, they actually had a great crew, they had a finance team, they had this whole thing funded. <clears throat> They had the great producer on there who pulled this whole deal together, got McDonald's into the, the, the movie game. Uh, like I said, they found a director. They had everything except the script. Even the director came in and said, well, who's writing the script? You bitch, get to work. They, <laughs> they said the director, they told him, and they told him, they said, look like you working weekends. Because <laughs> other than, if you don't, then we, we, ain't, we, we, don't have a, we don't have a script. You ain't got a job. <laughs> So the director had to go in like, well, shit, okay. He had to finish a script for this, man. Uh, so what happens with them having no script and having to get the script done as the last thing at the last minute, you get a movie that is padded with, with, with Mac just doing nothing. Or it's not really anything. It's not, let me just not say nothing. He's doing stuff, but it's all weird shit. Yeah. It's, it's doing weird things that really have nothing to do with the story. Uh... Like, you know, he's just, I mean, and, and being a creep about it, too. Like, just being, not just weird, but creepy weird. Like, where he, normally he should be hiding and trying to figure his situation out. He's in the house playing peekaboo with, with, with Eric's brother. Take me to the party 
Hey, you looking good. <laughs> What's your name? Hey, I sweet. Like, yeah. I, I like them shades. Yeah. yeah. Hey, sweet cheeks. What's up? <laughs> Sexually harassing his brother <laughs> and, then, and then running away when he does it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see, the, you can. The, there's a flash where you can see. Yeah. Oh my god. And you know, it's funny too because so you bad. because you know it ain't just those glasses. They're talking about maybe shit. These glasses. What's going on? You've been smoking some shit. That's yeah. what happened. <laughs> Hallucinating shit. You know what's going on. Kind of. Mac, Mac, no, he's just creeping. He's just really. He just. There's no other word for it. He ain't. He's not confused. He ain't sneaking. He's just creeping. What you looking at? Yeah. Man. Yeah. 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 Just 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 doing weird shit in here, man. You know, I mean, like I said, like, you know, so like I said, this is the biggest difference between between E.T. and Mac. The, for one, you know, uh E.T. again, he knew how to be he knew how to be covert about things. But the biggest difference between E.T. and Mac is that Mac is a dick. All right, Mac is he's a complete asshole, man. He's chaotic. Well, no, he's a dick. <laughs> no, he's he's a straight up asshole. Uh, as I said, ET <laughs> ET knew when to lay low. ET knew when to kind of you know st stand the cover so he don't get caught. He knew how to he knew the right people to make friends with. Uh, not Mac. You know the thing about ET ET said part of me staying low is respecting your home. Mm. Last thing I want to do is, is come in and mess up, up yeah. anything and cause waves. Not Mac. Mac said, house. <laughs> Mac <laughs> waited for everybody to go to bed. He waited for everybody to go to sleep. And, and, and once, he, once he made sure that everybody was not just asleep, but just snoring, everybody was deep. He went and trashed that living room. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> they just moved in. The house they just moved into. Oh, I'm gonna get blamed for this shit. Oh man! <laughs> he brought in twigs and dirt. And <laughs> yeah, it's like, and, it's, and the thing is, why? <laughs> the, the planet you came from was nothing but dirt. Why are you bringing all these trees and everything? Why you, he put a hat, a goddamn a MAGA hat on the on the deer over there? You know what it is? It's it seems obvious, but. Drinking that Coca Cola, it really was like cocaine for him. It, yeah, yo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, was just, he was just up all night, had all these yeah. ideas. Yeah, yeah. You know, he made sculptures. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh my God, you know I could be the best artist ever. Yeah. Dr. Oh, and I put some of this here, and I yeah. saw some of this stuff outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go there. Ooh, 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 I can make it one like one of these. <laughs> Don't let that fool find the toolbox. He found the toolbox in the house, found the drill, and immediately just started drilling holes for no reason. Says, what? what the fuck? Why? I mean, honestly, that could be a meme. <laughs> it could be it's right there. It's like, like, are you fucking are you, serious? Yeah, are you that? crazy? This is my mom. Man, this is my mom's house, you son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> what the kid is so incredulous. He's like, I don't. Yeah, he drilled through the goddamn wall. Yeah. What the fuck? And you think about it. If you woke up or, or came home and your house was trashed, you'd be upset, but you're like, all right, I get somebody wanted to me right. or, yeah. or they were looking for something. If somebody rearranged your furniture, you're like, all right, somebody's playing a prank. Yeah. But that Drill took, just coming through. Drill just, just even, even all that stuff he did, that took some work it and took, some planning. Yes. And you're like, what the, what, what kind of deranged what the, person would do this? What kind of, yeah, what, what <laughs> and I, I'll tell you how deranged he is. I want you to look at the, uh, what level that hole is. Shit, he about to pull that drill out and put something else through there. He made a glory <laughs> hole right oh, there. <laughs> the first thing that happens when mom sees this, she blames the cripple. Eric, what have you done? I didn't do it, Mom. Oh, my. Oh, this is my mother's painting. It's 100 years old. Whoa, what happened in here? Everything's ruined. It's totally ruined. It wasn't me, Mom. It's the little creature. I saw it. The house is totally destroyed. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. Boy, it's like, and I'm like, you know, What's he going to do? He's in a wheelchair. How could he have done all this shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just like, look, mama, god damn it. Look at me, bitch. Yeah, yeah. How could I have possibly I, pulled all this stuff I'm, off? I'm in a, he's okay, a, if you didn't do it, who did? It was this little creature. Okay, I hear out of sound now. Never yeah, mind. Right, right, right. Still, still. He's in a wheelchair. Damn, I know he's handicapable. He ain't that capable. 
God damn it. Like, well, and and maybe and might I add, she yelling at him, you got a dude with both his legs working right, right, right there. Right. She ain't saying shit to him. You ain't dumb. Yeah. Well, he it, walking at the same time as her, so. I would still say, I would look at him before I look at the damn hey, dude in the wheelchair. Somebody would sleep sometime. That's what it has. That's what went down. And he could reach the painting. He could wheel over to that painting. Mac is just running around pulling pranks and pranks that are, that are, that, that are so dangerous that they put people's life in danger. Sitting around whistling at people in the bushes and luring them out to their doom. <laughs> You like that? You you looking at me? <laughs> you're like, yeah, you look, yeah, you're like, yeah, all right, well, shit, let me. You know, shit, that's the that's the girl from next door. Let me roll out over there. Met, boy, Matt got his ass good. Oh shit! You know that girl? Yeah, you know that that cute little thing from next door. I, I, I knew she was Yeah, me. I'm coming, baby. <laughs> yeah, no, hey, stay there. Oh shit! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, that's, that's all right. I got a break. You're like, oh shit, she back there. Oh. Wait, if she back there. <laughs> and Mac like, gotcha. Oh, there, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. That's what you get for you. Want to get that ass. Yeah. I told you not to snitch. Like, He's like, oh shit. I no. thought he was just going to uh, topple over. Oh no, no. Mac was like, I had to do that before he talks. <laughs> He's about to see. He's about to drop my name. One of us had to go, and bitch ain't gonna be me. <laughs> Mac does. Uh, Mac does rescue Eric because obviously he didn't mean to shove him off a cliff. Or did he? Watch your back, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> next exactly, next exactly. time you gonna die. <laughs> that that was a warning. <laughs> I, I ain't always gonna be around. Yeah. See? <laughs> yeah. Next time you going down. Did, did we learn a little lesson yeah. today? <laughs> that was a warning, Eric. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to save Eric. Uh, you know, we we ha we had to. We had to save him for the movie to continue because, damn it, we got products to sell in this film right here. Uh, this is boy right after that. Right after he fell off that cliff. <laughs> and seriously, this is where the, this is where the movie falls off itself. This is where the the real commercialism starts hitting hard. And we already got a taste of Coke. You probably even saw a bag of Skittles in there somewhere. Because they couldn't get Reese's Pieces. Get Reese's, yeah, like, so they got Reese's something pieces. that looked like Reese's Pieces, but everything else is kind of filling in the blanks, too. Uh, but you saw those. Now it's Mickey D's turn. Hi. It's McDonald's, huh? Yeah. Why don't you stop by for a Big Mac? <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. You know what? <laughs> you, you, you thirsty mother. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Hey, I'm hey, not. You call him out. You dry dick mother. Hey, no game having a piece of shit. Oh, oh. Okay, Romeo. That's all you got? Oh, and you know what? And the, and the funny thing with, uh, with the, the funny thing with Michael over here, he says, you got damn right I'm coming by for a Big Mac. They, try, they make it actually horny. They make oh, yeah, it kind of yeah. sexual. sexual. Yeah, yeah they, they, no, they, they know what they're doing. You know what I feel like? A Big Mac? He like, hell yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Oh, yeah. You read my mind. Shit. And while I'm over there, I'm going to get some big ass, too. <laughs> you read my dick. I mean, yeah, my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Coke is so shameless here, man. So I told you, they couldn't get Reese's Pieces. So they couldn't even use a Skittles. Coke paid more money. So they, instead of uh, spins, uh, Skittles, which kind of looks like Reese's Pieces. Mm, right. They actually, they actually use... So if you saw E.T., Elliot uses Reese's Pieces to lure E.T. out. Right. Uh, you would think that they'd be doing that the Reese's Pieces right here if you're going to rip off E.T. But no, nah, Coke paid more money. They want to be in on the whole thing here. So Coke is actually used as the Reese's Pieces here. So instead of Reese's Pieces, they got straw. Straw. Oh, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, oh my I mean God. We, we know that that's how his family drinks from the ground. Yeah, but they don't know that. They don't know that. No. Oh yeah, he fiending, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm getting big. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It in. oh that's the shit yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, man, man. <laughs> Better than the last one I had. <laughs> he must have got this from Pablo. <laughs> and this is a, this is the funny thing right here because uh, Eric Eric lure he lures him over there and he brings him over to the closet to get back at his ass for messing up the house. Don't hurt him! Don't hurt him! Hey, that motherfucker! Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Go 
Ghostbusters is like, okay. yeah. 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 Every girl's like, don't hurt him. Yeah. And Eric is like, no, yeah, Eric is like, he tried to frame me early. He saves him. You know how he saves him? Take a guess. Oh, uh, well, yeah, how uh, Eric saves the kid? The, hey, he, Mac? he saves Mac. How do you think he saves him, man? He puts McDonald's in the in the vacuum fridge, or everybody know he. Oh man, I don't know. Sucks hey, to do a straw. You you, you call you close. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Oh oh oh! Like an IV and shit. Yeah, there oh, you I go, little you buddy. Yeah, oh. uh, Coca Cola, that miracle life saving concoction right there. You know what's funny about this is that they had the. The, the the product placement is very prominently shown. That's the best model of Mac I've seen so far. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah, close up yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, they make sure like, all right, get the cannon shot, twist it so we can see the logo clearly. Yeah. Twit, there, there it is. Twist but, it a little more. But also, and give me the good Mac model. Yeah, oh yeah, the only oh, one yeah. we gonna use for this. One. Yeah, the one that has little hairs on it. The, right, and the, the eye, yeah, a little bit yeah. more articulated. And Coca Cola is right there. Yep. Because the, Mac thought he was <laughs> that Mac thought he was a little gangster around there, you know, doing shit and telling mm -hmm. Eric, you better not talk. But now that he knows what Eric can do, it's funny because once Eric sucks his ass up in that vacuum cleaner, <laughs> Mac know he ain't bullshitting. Right after he did that, what did he do? He cleaned up everything. <laughs> he cleaned that ass up, big and span. Yeah. <laughs> Once he knew everyone was bullshit no more, he that said, all right. He, he said, yeah, he said, hey, man, uh, let me right, go ahead and act right. right now. <laughs> Respect. Wow. You think he did it? Hey, I sure didn't. Hey, Nina, look at the ceiling. He fixed everything. <laughs> you know, he, he, he fixed stuff that wasn't even broken. <laughs> he, he, he practically built a whole new house. <laughs> you know, he's funny they're talking about like, yeah, yeah, I didn't do it. He fixed everything. Hey, man, you know what I feel like right now? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know like that's that funny because... <laughs> Cause now here's the thing, because it's all kind of weird shit in here that, that all kind of questions to be asked. Yeah, like how, how, that yeah, how, how does how does an alien child, how does he got the, the alien child not from Earth? How does he have the skills of an HGTV host <laughs> to come in and fix up this whole house? I now know. I don't know, but Eric put the fear in his ass. Yeah, he got it right. Is it is this good, Mr. Eric? Yeah. You, <laughs> any, yeah. Anything, any other choice you want yeah, around yeah, here? Yeah. You, you miss a spot. No, oh, oh, no, no, oh, I was going to get on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to set code on that. <laughs> now, it still don't mean that, that Mac is acting right. <laughs> Mac's, still, Mac's still acting a fool. Because the thing is, like I said, discrep discrepancy is not his, that's, th yeah. that, is not, that is not something he does. Mac... The, the Mac seen what's happening. Mac knows that the government is after him. He's seen the scientists that want to hurt him. He said, I don't give a I'm putting myself out there. I wish they would come after me. Oh, discretion? No, he yeah. ain't got none. Yeah. None. He don't care. He ain't trying to hide at <laughs> all. That's how gangster Mac is over here. Uh, like, for example, they think... He, he goes out on the front porch like that's his home. <laughs> Get, <laughs> he goes out on the front porch like that's his home. Getting the morning paper. Oh. Reading the language you don't even know. Yeah, right, right. Like yeah, season. out there in front of everybody, like he's been right. in that neighborhood the whole time. Like he, like he like he bought the house. Yeah, like that's his home. <laughs> hey, he did all that work tearing it down. That's true. It that's true. <laughs> Shit, I live here now. Yeah, yeah I, I remodeled. This. Yeah, yeah. So I'm practically a, room, a, a, a roommate now. Yeah, I'll be shelling peanuts on the, <laughs> the, the portions. And now I'm gonna read this newspaper while my eyes focus everywhere but the exactly. newspaper. Exactly. That fool even finds a little car and decides that he finds a little car and decides to go joyriding around the neighborhood. What is Get that mother got a got a dog lynch bob behind him. Wait, wait, chasing him. Yeah, head going everywhere. Yeah, oh yeah. And they came from all different places. Yeah, sure did. They said, yeah. How many people in the neighborhood have dogs? God yeah. damn. You know, well, you know now. I know, territory. but also they don't keep them locked up. No. <laughs> no. Just got their dog in the front hey, when, when the call goes out, you must <laughs> yeah, answer. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So. And of course when this dude when, when this dude gets in his car right here. Of course he don't, you know, he he's driving all wild. Might as well he's probably drunk like his daddy and <laughs> <laughs> only takes you know, it's only a matter of time before Yep, he, yeah, you know, yeah, you know. <laughs> crashes into a tree. Oh, you know, and here's the funny oh. thing about it. Uh he crashes into a tree and the and and he don't cause cause he don't learn. He don't learn nothing. And the movie even said, you know what? You keep your ass up in that tree and think about what you did. And they just leave him there. <laughs> 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 they 
<laughs> well, they go, man, they, they, seriously, I'm not lying. They go to a whole scene where mom is jogging and his ass is up in that tree. He's all, don't see me up hey, here, hey, goddammit. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> he's, too, he's too scared of what's he's doing. Man, they pay, boy, they, 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 they go away to a, to a music video of mom jogging and just Long leave time. his ass up there. Hey, 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 where the Big Mac at? Hey. <laughs> yeah, man. But when he's around Eric, he knows to act right now. Eric said, "Hey, you stay, you stay low key." When you know, when Eric ain't around, he, he he's walking around like he he's running things, like he right. owns things. But when Eric's around, he's like, "Yeah, I better lay low." He, to the point where even Eric got his ass in a in a in a bear costume, ragged ass bear costume. <laughs> Take this mother. <laughs> she's, like, this. she's like, seriously, that's what you put in there? <laughs> yeah. She's like, I guess. Yeah. We gotta discuss this relationship. You can't Yeah, he had, a, he had a stuffed bear. He took all the stuff out of bed and put his ass in there. Right. Oh, ragged ass yeah, bear. Ragged ass bear. <laughs> Look at raggedy too. Like, like, he looks like he took the stuff yeah. out. Yeah, bears tore up, boy. Ragged ass bear. <laughs> Look at the little girl's like, that, be, that bear better be fake. That better not be a real toy. <laughs> this yeah. is this is a, you don't really sleep at one of these. Right, right. Like, yeah, that's He's like, nah, girl, that's the best you can do. <laughs> girl even told him. She said, you know, you could have got a better one on Shopify. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> you know why? Because well, maybe not through that, maybe not directly through Shopify, but people they do a lot of arts and crafts. Hopefully they make better stuff, animals and bears and things like that that you can get on Shopify. But I'm not trying to tell you to buy things off the internet from Shopify. I'm trying to get you to use Shopify. Uh, I chose to do a sponsorship with, 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 with Shopify because with Shopify, there are a lot of people who do arts and crafts and you know, they sell things that they make, they create, and they make a good living doing so. Uh, we have people, and I show this all the time, I have a lot of stuff in here that people have made. This one was just uh, in reach, I've shown this before. Uh, this is our friend James who made this because he does sculptures and he does 3D printing. That's great. And People just like him and some of the other toasties who make plushies, even uh, art, uh, they sell stuff, they sell their crafts, they sell their wares, they sell their products using Shopify. And I want you guys out there, if you have something that you can monetize, you can sell, you know, you're a talented person, try using Shopify, man. And Shopify gives entrepreneurs such as yourself, they give you the resources that was really at one time, this is the thing about the internet, but it really was one time served for big businesses. Now, therefore, people such as yourself, smaller businesses, people who want to do things that are on their own. And the reason why Shopify is so cool because, <clears throat> excuse me, you reach customers online across several social networks, and they have an ever growing suite of channel integration. You know, you can use things like Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest. Facebook and there's so much more out there. If it's out there, they're using it. You can synchronize online with those platforms and look at your in-person sales. You know, the biggest thing with selling stuff and running any kind of business is to look at your analytics and your numbers. And Shopify provides you with all of that to make it easier so that you can check all the numbers and all of your sales, all of the people that who make your business what it is. You know, the thing with Shopify is that it also accepts all major payments out there. So, I'm, you know, I, I, I told you everything you need to know. I can keep this short, except it's, that if you are truly somebody that has something to sell, then get on it and try to use Shopify. And I'm going to give you a reason to try it out. Go to Shopify.com slash Toasted. And when you do that, you get a 14-day trial with that. 14-day free trial when you go to Shopify.com slash Toasted. Start selling your stuff. Start making your business grow. Start making all your stuff worth something. Making it work for you. Start being an entrepreneur. And start getting that 14-day free trial by putting in this code right here. I want to thank Shopify for sponsoring this portion of the show. And I want to thank all of you out there for your support as usual. And for that guy that asked why you do this in the middle of the show, that's, well, here it there is. That's why. <laughs> that's why, right, right there. Here. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, where are they going when you see them leaving? You know, you have them in the bear suit. They he must be going, oh, oh. yeah, they must be going somewhere if he has them hidden. You know, no one else can see. Only him and his friend next door that know about this. Uh, they must be going somewhere where nobody can know that there's an alien around. 
Even though he's all out in front of the house reading the paper, reading and shit. newspaper, and <laughs> yeah. driving, driving with dogs, <laughs> yeah, getting all the attention on himself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So where are they going? Well, they're going to the most infamous part of this movie, McDonald's. Right. And in this universe, yeah. McDonald's is the place to be. Over at McDonald's, boy, kids just hanging out in the parking lot all day like R. Kelly. Oh, <laughs> man. I knew you were saying that. Yeah. Just, just hanging out doing, doing nothing, man. Just, was, just dancing. They ain't oh, even, they ain't dancing? even, yeah, they, they ain't even in the drive through They ain't inside. They in the parking lot. Just out there just dancing. Oh, doing the rerun. Yeah, and of, the rerun. and of course, there's there's no there's no main black characters in the movie. But when you yeah. need some flavor, yeah. you, know, you know when you when you know you need to look for when you, when you need a little you know some of that hip hop up in there because it's cool for the kids. Now they'll, they'll, boy, they'll have us dancing all day. Yep. Selling, right. selling burgers too. Remember that? Sell, back, yeah. remember that back? That's back when they used to have the black people selling the McDonald's. Well, oh yeah, the all the time. Well, when, here's the funny thing about McDonald's. The McDonald's they used to. A lot of commercials used to appeal just to kids, but when they got to black people, it was the whole family. It was just like yeah. Kool-Aid. Yeah. Yeah. When you saw a Kool-Aid commercial, if it was white people, it was just the kids drinking. The mom was like, hmm, that's my kid getting her vitamin C. But when it was when it was black people, it was family reunion in there. Yeah. Sure. Drinking or, or Kool-Aid all day. over the goddamn yeah, Kool-Aid. Because yeah. it was always, hey, we, it's so inexpensive, you could free, feed your whole broke-ass family. Right, exactly. <laughs> $20. Exactly. Exactly. You can get now, that get cool, that refreshing flavor and live off of Kool-Aid for a month. Don't forget that welfare check. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is, it gets crazy. Yeah, they out here dancing in front of the McDonald's. I mean, people can't even park. I'm telling you, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they out there just taking up the line. You're trying to go through the drive thing. Yeah, when well, y'all get the hell out the way. Now don't finish this movie. When you get your black ass out of the way. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a funny thing because people forget that McDonald's used to be a birthday party place. Oh, that's that's not for no birthday party. They do that I shit know, every it, day. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're just there. Yeah, hey, shit. That's it's like they clocked in and yeah. started doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, should, they should probably be in school right now. <laughs> One of the reasons that... Uh, <laughs> that McDonald's let the producer come and do this, and let them do anything that they want. Cause they did, they did. They, man, it gets crazy here. It gets, it gets, it gets insane. And McDonald's let them do it. They said, do any kind of crazy shit you want to, but we respectfully ask that you do not use one of our biggest branding mascots up here. Please do not use Ronald McDonald. We are very, very close to that brand right there, that image. We would appreciate that. Run off and do whatever. And they said, all right, sure. And when you go into the McDonald's, the first thing you see is Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Front and center. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's the same actor they use for all the commercials. <laughs> you know they said? They said, God damn it, we said don't. <laughs> and oh, God oh. damn it, we said we didn't care. Oh, you said don't use him? Oh. Yeah. So, Ron, uh, uh, my bad, I, I misunderstood. It's that. almost like they, they, and they heard him. They said clearly and slowly, please, politely, please not run up, do not use Ronald McDonald. They said, F you. Yeah, said, we got, got your it. money already. Yeah, we yeah, do whatever yeah. you want yeah. to. Yeah, we guess what? We called Ronald already. He said he's in. <laughs> you don't run him. <laughs> Actually, we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's his own clown. You don't tell him what he's to do. already he's on the own. set, so I don't have to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Besides seeing Ronald McDonald, the moment they get in there, they say, Mac, you know, be cool. They keep telling him, lay low. The moment they get that, that Mac gets in there, he takes one of them bare, them bare hands off and starts t stealing kids' cokes. Mother. Look at it, you gonna let him do you like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All I'm like, I'll be goddamn. <laughs> <boy."> <laughs> Yo, like that. Yeah, that, that boy in a red that. shirt, he, he's, he's, he's ready to fight. He really is. He's like, my mama bought me that coat. He's like, bitch. I, it's good for Mac. The reason why he did it is because no one is paying attention. He saw his moment. He saw his opening. He took it. He's an opportunist. Yeah, he is. Because cause, cause no one's paying attention to him. Because his McDonald's is crazy. They must have put speed in the food and real Coca-Cola in the Coke because these food these foods are insane. Because that's at one point, I mean, it's just like a regular, no, well, kind of, except for the break dances outside. It's kind of just kind of like a regular day at McDonald's, except maybe a little more people because they have a party going on. But so it, it started out average day at McDonald's, and at one point, people just lost their goddamn minds. I mean, whatever they put these burgers, they kick, it kicked in quick. Boy, that Asian dude, my man, my man, I'm sorry, you said real, there's some cocaine, that Coca-Cola. Yeah, that's, real, that's what I said, real cocaine in the Coca-Cola. His head is shaking. Look at him. 
Yeah. <laughs> Shit, them, them Happy Meals are a little too happy right now. Oh, <laughs> Shit, you ain't that goddamn happy. Come on Man. now. Is it not good enough? Is it not crazy enough that people just break out spontaneous dances? You got ballerina bitches over here getting mad. You got to have football players. Dude, where the hell did they come from? Like, okay, you're like the, the first couple of guys, you're like, all right, maybe the college players, but the dude in the back with the mustache? No, no, that dude, oh, no. that dude is, he's 45 years old and yeah. gay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, man, that's my daddy. <laughs> What's going on with the dude in the back? <laughs> but also, my thing is, it's like, y'all gonna go back to practice and y'all just hear that, like, oh, we hear the music, coach, we gotta go. <laughs> But they, did y'all just get through playing a game? <laughs> right. I mean, and I don't even I don't understand half of it because yeah, they ain't take the the uniform off when they left the, the stadium. No, my man got a he got a hat on his. Oh, they still, they still got the, the black things on our face. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I do not stuff. understand what the f is going on with this right here. All right. Is it halftime at the game? Yeah. Halftime. My man is into it on it, and I love the, the fans are like, what the. F Exactly. Yeah. All right, we got the wrong one. Yeah, like, you know what the hell? We're catching that alien. You know, let somebody else deal with this. It's the one time in the movie you empathize with the fans. You should like, do. Well, they're like, they're uh, like, hey, man, that, uh, hey, we don't need that alien that bad. <laughs> somebody will somebody get him. That dude back there, you talking about, Martin? Like, the feds, they get, first of all, they tired of everybody's shit. Yeah. But they especially tired of these football players right yeah. here. Because when he comes in, <laughs> to see that football player, they get the f away. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this this is insane. All these people are here dancing. All these people are here getting, you know, this I don't know what's happening here. Like it's drugs, I don't know. Maybe the food is that goddamn good. I don't know. But uh <laughs> got dance food but, so good. Get, get, you take a bite, you start dancing. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. Sure but, yeah, McDonald's was better back in the eighties. Yeah, it yeah. Was. yeah, I can say those those happy meals were really happy back in the day. But who's the main one? Who's the main one got his ass up dancing? Who shouldn't be? Know what two <laughs> the, 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 the thing that had me laughing on the floor <laughs> is how all the way there, Eric has him just in his lap and he's about this big. Yeah. And he gets up on that counter. <laughs> he's over about five feet tall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's, big, he's bigger than Eric when he's up yeah, on the counter. Sure Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hanging out. yeah, look at him. And by the way, keep in mind, he'd never been to Earth. Yeah. But he got the moves down. Yeah, you know, he's, he's, he, he spotted everybody. He picked up on and the picked step. picked up on them quick. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the old soft shoe. A little soft shoe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jump off the buffalo. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm going to show you how we used to do it back in the day, homie. Yeah, yeah. Y'all don't know nothing about this. Mac, decided, he decided to get up dancing and grow up another three feet. Uh, they get they, they he's they drawing attention on themselves. Mac up there doing throwing a concert. So now, you know they're in the spotlight. The feds know that they're there. Uh, they got to get the hell out. Uh, in the cheap version of the bicycle chase in ET. Sure. Right. Uh, so it's it's a good thing. Except this one's so much funnier. Oh, it's funnier, boy. Because oh, they, can't, they can't do no. The thing I'm is, sorry. they can't do the same effects where they fly and all that kind of stuff. So they got to rely on Eric's strong ass arms to, to oh, get to no. the Exactly. <laughs> the explosion in the background. <laughs> the car went by. Boom. <laughs> That's, that, that, the person that car, that person's dead. Nobody cares. <laughs> Yeah, he, he don't care. Of course, he's wrapped and, up or something. And man, you think you drown? You drown a freeway, and suddenly a kid in a wheelchair just comes out of nowhere. Oh, with a, and you with swerve a, to yeah. miss them. You have a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. A kid in a wheelchair <laughs> in the middle of traffic with a deformed child in his in his, right. in his lap. Also, yeah. she has that wrap around his head. It's supposed to take place in the hoodie, right? Uh, uh, well, oh, 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 yo, oh, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's what I'm you were right, man. Yeah. I didn't even, didn't even make that connection. They were like, we can't just oh, go kind of do it. We got to do it all the way. And that's what I'm talking about with the ball bearings in that chair. It's smooth. Uh, it, is, it is fast. Oh, it is, it is very smooth, <laughs> all, man. All he needs is a slight incline, and he takes off yeah, like a yeah, rocket. He's oh, swole, yeah. too, man. Yeah. Air, 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 yeah, I know he's a, a, a Popeye arm. Yeah, a big old, yeah. 
Yeah. No, he no, he does have some smooth moves. Oh, that's he has some real smooth moves, man. That's the point where the truck goes by. He grabs that shit. Oh yeah. You remember that? Like Marty McFly. Yeah, like Marty McFly, man. You gotta give it to the fans, they don't give up. Right. They're, they're, they're like Terminator 2. Yeah, he, he, he is one of the first ones. One of the front is running like yeah. T2, T1000. I'm gonna tell you like this. Mom figures like, okay, I don't know what's been going on with these kids, but I, I you know, at least I get it. My, my break is at work. I'm across town from these kids. In fact, mom, she figures like it's so cool that she's away, miles away from the kids that she's like, well, shit, I'm about to get me some D right now. She, I she, knew she, it, I knew it. You see that part where, there's a part where she starts, she starts hitting up on this dude in the moment, the moment she tries to get some play. Mom! Mom! How long have you been in lingerie? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, hey, wait a minute. We were just getting started. Look at her. Hey, where you going? <laughs> talking about he got some smooth moves. So he's on the highway, boy. I mean, going faster than traffic in that way. <laughs> I know, for real. He's he going faster. He's going 45 Fire miles an hour. Out. And Big Brother still comes in to scoop him up. <laughs> Look at that. Is that a good they, 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 they ain't even on. They, 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 that's, they, that's in place. They're not even going anywhere. Right. There's a no. fan on his hair. Yeah, so the side of the Mac now. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. And by the way, yeah, they're on a set. They are not, nobody's rolling yeah. anywhere. They're just shaking things and blowing, yeah, wind in his hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. The whole wheelchair. The whole wheelchair. <laughs> um, Michael's strong, boy. Yeah. But he goes, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he's got to impress his girl. Yeah, is she in the car? <laughs> yeah, he's been working out. Yeah, she's yeah, she's, she's in driving. The car. Yeah. Oh, oh, she's me, driving? Yeah. And let me tell you something. Uh, because this is, a, this, is a, this is a this is a big McDonald's commercial. That girl, at, uh, once we go to McDonald's, she don't take that uniform no, off. That saying, shit is like a superhero costume. She don't take it off at all. Uh, she, everybody, you know, they make sure you know McDonald's they got their hands all over this everywhere you turn. You know what? Let's be honest. He, he be like, you leave part of it on, girl. You know, yeah, we'll do our thing. Yeah, yeah. Leave, leave, leave his shirt on. Yeah. Well, I want to see that. I want to see them golden arms tearing his ass up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they find Mac's parents. You, you forgot about them. They've been oh cooking. yeah. They've been, oh, yeah. they been cutting every now and then in the desert, but they've just been struggling. Boy, they've just been trying to find <laughs> shade. <laughs> we just trying to find shade now. Oh, Mac's been living it up. Yeah, Mac has been having adventures. <laughs> reading. So while so so while Mac been over here doing this, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. While while that's been happening, meanwhile. Parents just dying. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they uh, they find they find their parents in the shade, pretty pretty much pretty much dead at this point. Just yeah, just dying, man. Just dehydrated, just gone. Billy, hmm. gotta ask you a question, my friend. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do you think saves them? Man, I think we all know. A little Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and move the can so we can see the logo. Yeah. Look at that. Now she got that Coca-Cola. Yeah. She definitely going to be okay. Ah, uh, Coca-Cola, that life-giving elixir, boy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's the second time Coca-Cola saved a life. That's right. Same stuff that can take the, uh, the corrosive <laughs> off your battery, your yeah. car battery. Yeah. Is it life-giving elixir? Bring you back to life, right? Yeah. <laughs> they get them all revived. They put them in the car. Try to, so they're going to try to get them somewhere. Because they're, they're just like E.T., you know, there's a place with that point. Don't even ask how they do it. I'll tell you how they oh do it. God, this dude. is why he picked up the paper. Martin could tell you. He oh, picked Jesus. up the paper. I don't know how he got to this. He picked up the paper and saw some horses. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's where, my, that's where my family is. So he sees a horse track advertisement. So he's trying to find this place where the horses run, run wild and free. And so that's where, they're try, that's where they're trying to go. He keeps pointing at shit, trying to show them where to go. Man, they didn't even try to be subtle with that no. shit. Like, that's straight yeah, out of yeah, E.T. We ain't, we ain't got time for subtlety. <laughs> yeah, we gotta wrap this up, I guess. No, yeah. hell no. Subtlety, that's, that's E.T.'s thing. Not me, me. Not, I mean, not me, least, bitch. But before, it was kind of like, oh, a little here and there. Yeah. But once oh. they put that, he wrapped that thing around his head, got in that bicycle. Oh, not bicycle. Yeah. The wheelchair instead of a bicycle. God yeah. damn. No, it's now, here's the thing. Uh, they get them all revived and everything. They get them in the car. And Dad must still be drunk on that shit. Dad's the, he's the most irresponsible one in the car. He Everybody's is. sitting down. Everybody acting like they got sense. Dad just oh, sees some. He's, he's, like a, he's like a ferret. He just sees objects he wants. And he just starts grabbing. Uh, What's he doing now? Oh, keep him busy, guys. Yeah, keep yeah. him busy. And notice she, it's a McDonald's hat. <laughs> right, right, of course. Because McDonald's is that damn good. Uh, 
and this could this could never be ET. <clears throat> Not BET, but this could never yeah, be. I was gonna say. Yeah, this could never be They might play it on BET. E, yeah, this could never be the creature ET or the movie ET. Because ET would never be this dumb. Just walking up in the grocery store. Right. Just walking up in the grocery store, knowing that the feds are after them. What's the point? They don't care. Just making friends and shit. Yeah, I think it's yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. I mean, just walking in there, like nobody's after. Like, like they going grocery shopping. Yeah, redneck ass lady with that baby. I know with the baby just wearing a diaper. Wearing a diaper. Oh, you I know, and they no clothes, yeah. yeah. That, that's what we used to always see. We go on road trips, and my mother used to uh, not fly. We stop at a place, and I'm like, oh my and, God. And, and can I tell you, uh, the, she was there. That's real. They, they, yeah. That's yeah. not a costume. They ain't an actor. She was already right. in this. Like, and they're like, ma'am, you were perfect for this shot right there. <laughs> can you just hang out for a little bit? We'll, said, we'll buy you groceries. We'll buy you some McDonald's. Yeah. Max Daddy, Mac Daddy, he just he he, I tell you, he he stays stupid in this, which actually works to his favor. It does. <laughs> he actually does. He's too stupid. Uh, somebody pointing a gun at him. He's too stupid and no danger when he sees it. You stand back now. I'm warning you. No, they don't understand you. The I got a special dance for you, no, old you man. Get off. No. <laughs> Give me that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, that, and the last thing he needs right. is a gun. Right, right. You don't know how to use it. <laughs> yeah, last thing Max Daddy need is a gun. Uh, that security guard is fired, though. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. We shouldn't let you have a gun right, in the first right. place. And oh, look yeah. what you did with yeah, it. Right. Yeah. You will shoot me the one time we balls. give you a gun. <laughs> and he, in, the, well, in his defense, like, well, there ain't never been no goddamn aliens in here either. <laughs> right. I right, get my job back. <laughs> give me another gun. <laughs> Mine is missing. Well, we might get more aliens. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you can't handle it. <laughs> right. You know, this taser. <laughs> this ain't no E.T. And Mac Daddy's like, you goddamn right this ain't no E.T. E.T. was never gangster like me. <laughs> oh, with the sideways. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. He said, said, I got a gun now. He got, he got, he got into a shootout with the cops when they showed up, man. Not Straight up. Aiming. Not even aiming. He, he, I, I, I'm aiming at anybody. I said, don't move, goddamn it. Oh, and not only does he get into a shootout, but... Shit. Oh my God! <laughs> Blows up the grocery store. I'm sure that woman is still in there with her kid. Yeah, and that's Eric right there. Oh yeah, that's Eric because they. Uh, yeah. that's the thing. And he's dead. Eric. Eric caught him. He caught a stray one, and died. And uh, and the thing is, is that uh, it's funny too because there's a doctor there, a doctor who clearly does not give a shit. It's gonna be okay. He's oh, gone. Oh, what? <laughs> like, like, what? He's you gone. didn't even do anything. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. What? Yeah, yeah I said, shut the. F up. He's gone. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I got, yeah, I got, I got another appointment. Yeah, 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 exactly. He's like, sorry. Ain't nothing I can do for him now. Yeah. Right? Call an Undertaker. Hey, there's, there's people still alive that need yeah. me right now. <laughs> you working that crazy? We <laughs> it's, it, well, okay, so I don't know what the the version you watch because it just shows him rolling up. It blows up and he's there. Are you dead? There's a there's a <laughs> version where he actually gets shot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I saw that. They, what they released in I guess it was Hong Kong. Yeah, but not here. Yeah, but yeah, they even show it where he's rolling up and when those straight bullets from the feds hits him in the back and he just yeah, he oh. just falls over. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's also funny he rolls with the explosion. And yeah, but just even showing, not even showing it, it's like that whole thing blows up, he just and he's right there, thing, just yeah. dead. He <laughs> yeah, like, he just damn. Lit. I guess he just. Yeah. He, I, I get, thought shrapnel from the explosion hit him. Me too. Until I read that that he was actually shot. We got aliens in this movie, so. Well, let me ask you something. Uh, let me ask you something, uh, uh, Billy. How you think they saved Eric over here? I was gonna say Coca Cola, but I think they, they used a finger and. No, it's Coca Cola, man. No. It ain't. Coca-Cola from the sky. No, no, no. Wouldn't it be funny to just pour some Coca-Cola? <laughs> He's like, hey, man. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't try it. I'm just, I'm just, and we just have this? everybody going, it, 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 it doesn't work that way. <laughs> we, we, it, it, we, he just We're not needed, you. He just I, needed a cool, refreshing drink. I threw it out there because y'all said this movie has some balls. So I don't know. Yeah. So. No. Oh, that, but yeah, yeah, let me yeah. ask you, would you be surprised? No. No. It, they said, they said, they said. Yeah. I have the power. <laughs> yeah, it's just alien voodoo shit. That's all. They just put their hands on him and all of a sudden he just he just wakes up. Eric. 
yeah, you can bring a kid back to life, but your ass is lost in the desert for most right, of the movie. Right. Also, can anybody fix my spine? I was, while I was we're just going to say that. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, oh, we can't do all that. We, <laughs> hey, we're not miracle workers, all right? Because <laughs> knowing they, they, they saved the kid. They probably knew, like, hey, we saved this kid, then, you know, maybe the feds will leave us alone. But not only do the feds leave them alone, but the government welcomes them in as swears them in oh, as yeah. U.S. citizens. What? That I will perform. <laughs> oh, the suit on shit! <laughs> and Billy, that's the next scene. That is the next that's scene. The next it's scene. the next scene. There's, there's, there's no transitioning from from saving the kid to this. It's save the kid, and the next scene they're in suits. Yes, and, and, the, and the, the feds are actually the feds are after them. They're running to the court to, to see them getting sworn in. That I will. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, kids, close. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, they even got them in Mac kids clothes, man. <laughs> Old school, like 50s clothes, too. Yeah, yeah well, that's, you know, McDonald's, man. Oh, oh Mac kids, Mac yeah. kids, man. Under civilian direction. And you know some people think they're from Africa or something. They don't even, they don't even think they're human. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Without any mental reservation? Oh, yeah. The purpose of the state so by saying... I like, like Jesus. <laughs> he's like, really? You let him stay? <laughs> yeah, he's like, 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 he's like this. So this is really happening, I guess. Wow. Oh my God. Like, okay. Wow. Like, if I would have, I thought y'all. would have known, I would have given y'all. I would have given Mac over a lot sooner, man. We went through all this shit just for them to get sworn in. Okay. I wore a suit. Just I mean, I, I did die because of them. Yeah. <laughs> But they did bring me back, so no harm, no foul, right? <laughs> that seems to be a thing with them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I put you in great danger, but I saved you. But I got you back. Yeah, yeah you got him a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah sure did. An appropriate ass girlfriend. Sure did. Both of them. Yeah, yeah. both of them. And uh, oh, so you don't And see not only does does he get sworn in, was able to go to the to the D, the, to the, uh, to, the to the DP and uh -huh. get and get himself to the Department of Public Safety and get himself a driver's license. Of course. He's working for Avon now. He got a pink Cadillac. Pink Cadillac. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they give him a stipend too. Money? Yeah, you can't be so. Riding cool too. What the? F <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, you put this shit in. You shot this. You went somewhere and shot this scene yesterday or today. You Man, <laughs> they just, they just, they just rolling. Yeah, yeah rolling with so, top down. That's, yeah, all, top. that's all we went through. <laughs> but, but the way he's driving, he's been driving for years. He, yeah, he's oh, cruising. Yeah. He, he, dri he's driving like my dad used to drive yeah. in, in our, our convertible. He's cruising, man. He ain't yep. driving, he's cruising. One hand on the wheel. Uh, they get ready to go to Sonic or something after yeah. this. Yeah, no, that's just, you gotta go to Sonic. You gotta yeah. go to a drive in. Yeah, drive in. Yeah. yeah, of course. You got a pink Cadillac. Yeah, 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 just yeah cool it's it. not just a pink Cadillac, but a convertible. A convertible. Who the fuck convertible. gave him that? <laughs> and, I, and, and, now, and some of those are saying, man, y'all y'all wrong. You know, I don't care what nobody say. I, I, I love Mac and me. You know, I, I, I love this movie. I don't care what anybody say. You know what? I, I'm gonna, and I'm going to miss these people right here. Shit, I wish we had another one. Well, you know, uh, don't, hey, don't, I, I would say this never give up. No, yo, no, the hubris. <laughs> we'll be back. That was actually the, re the reaction of most audiences that saw it. <laughs> they never said when. <laughs> yeah, it's not too late. Hey, in, in this in this land of of reboots, we keep having it. it's only right. a matter of time. We were just talking about reboots, Mark. I was love. They said we'll be back in a, a big semi just just, <laughs> just, just T bones. That, that six nine. Uh, don't, don't, don't be hating, Billy. Six, seven, oh, people! All right. Somebody said. Also, what's that bubble made out of? Yeah, I guess it's bubble gum. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. like bubble gum. Yeah, he's not, hey, they, they, you know who knows? Mixed with alien saliva. Who knows what it does? That gorilla man drug. Yeah. <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> he looking at people like he looking like what the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah. My own business. Yeah. Oh no, I don't know how to drive this I'm, thing. You better like, watch I'm out. an American citizen yeah, now. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Sons of bitches. I'll sue your ass. Oh. All right, y'all. That's it. That's it. There you go. Uh we man, this is awesome. We should have done this a while back. God that's amazing. Damn, man. I can't uh, believe that shit. <laughs> I mean, believe it. I mean, this is between this and Carrie Owens, y'all gonna try y'all try to kill me. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be mad at this movie. <laughs> yeah, I love it, man. 